as officer in charge of the Division for Public Administration Development Management and chief of the e-government branch of the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, I would like to welcome to the United Nations Public Service Forum. This global capacity building event serves as an opportunity for innovators and officials from all over the world to meet, share best practices and address the challenges that face their nation. This year, the forum focuses on how innovation and good governance can promote sustainable development for the well-being of all people. Governments around the world are grappling with several difficult social, economic and environmental issues, including the effects of the global financial crisis, poverty, unemployment, poor education systems, health epidemics, environmental degradation and the effects of the climate change. Innovation in public administration and effective e-governance are today a necessity of every country that wishes to keep up with the many demands of its citizens and with the emerging regional and interregional challenges. Addressing these challenges is often dependent on the government's national capacity for change and innovations. Governments across the globe need to undertake a process of transformative change. The governance should be seen as a holistic process to transform government. The transformative changes entail not only the design and implementation of innovative practices, but more fundamentally a transformation of government's role, functions, institutional framework and processes. DPADM's e-government branch undertakes activities at the global, regional and national levels in support of developing and least developed countries through normative work, analysis and research, as well as capacity building activities. One of its flagship products of DESA is the United Nations e-government survey. For the past 10 years, DPADM has published the biennial e-government survey that represents the only global publication listing a comparative assessment of global e-government development in 193 countries, including indicators, strategies, tools and best practices. According to the 2014 UN e-government survey, most countries are making progress on providing greater access to online services. Most notable is that for the first time since the survey was first published in 2003, all member states had national websites. Overall, the most advanced countries continue to outpace the less developing countries in online service delivery. Between 2012 and 2014, the number of countries offering mobile applications and mobile portals doubled to nearly 50 countries. The use of social media by governments increased by 50% since 2012 and today 118 countries use uh, some for the social media. The rankings are part of the Surveys e-Government Development Index, which ranks countries by measuring their use of information and communication technology to deliver public services. The index is a wage average of uh, three dimensions, scope and quality of online services, status of telecommunication infrastructure and existing human resources. The Republic of Korea ranked first in 2014 survey global e-government ranking due to its continued leadership and focus on e-government innovations. Australia ranked second and Singapore ranked third. The survey said Australia and Singapore scored very high for improving e-government because both countries established robust telecommunication infrastructure invested in developing their human resources, expanded usage of e-government facilities and extended service delivery. At the regional level, Europe continued to lead followed by the Americas, Asia, Oceania and Africa. France topped the list in Europe and ranked fourth globally. The United States led countries in the Americas and ranked seventh. Tunisia was the top performer in Africa and ranked 75th. To improve e-government, the survey suggests countries establish a clear national vision supported 
by committed leadership, appropriate policies and collaborative governance framework, and greater investment in telecommunication infrastructure, human capital, and provision of online services. These and other important issues will be discussed during the four-day forum and particularly during the capacity building workshop on innovation and e-governance for sustainable development, organized by the PADM's e-government branch and its project office UMPOG located in Korea. I would like to wish all of you very fruitful deliberations and trust that you will leave the forum with a renewed commitment and inspiration to become active agents of change in your countries and continue to work hard for more sustainable, peaceful and equitable societies. Thank you very much.